Hey guys, it's Rain. So these hoop earrings are actually really easy to make. I'm going to be using this porcelain clay. This is the kind of clay that hardens with air. I feel like a broken record because I always use this, but I love it. I find it pretty easy to work with for accessories, but you can use polymer clay as well. I'm going to be using this bottle of dry shampoo. This is not the big one, but it's like smaller size. I'm going to be taking my clay and I'm going to roll it into the shape of a snake or a really thin sausage. The more you keep on rolling it, it's going to be thinner and the less you roll it, it's going to be thicker. So pretty much it depends on how thick you want your hoops to be. Once I have this thickness, I'm going to be wrapping two of this on the cap and I'm going to let it dry for overnight. If you are using polymer clay to do this, just you just need to make the shape, take it out of there and then just make it. Once they are hardened, I'm going to be removing them and then cut the shape. For that, I'll use my X-Acto knife because I want both my earrings to have like the same cut in like the same places. Just ignore the ear pods that is already glued in. I changed my mind after, but I'm going to be placing the one that has not been cut yet. I'm going to place it on top and then guide myself from where I made the other cut. Just so that they look similar where I cut them. If you're working with polymer clay though, I'm pretty sure you can cut that before you bake it. I'm not really sure. It's been a while since I haven't worked with polymer clay, but you can try that. Or you can cut it once it's hardened, like I'm doing here. And here I'm just comparing if they look similar and if there is something I need to cut more. I'm going to be taking two ear pods and I'm going to be cutting them like this in one part and then glue them. Because my hoop is around ish but if I were to not cut them and just glue them, you would be able to see the ear pods. And to glue them, I'm using my super glue. It dries instant, but I like to give it uh, some time to just fully set. Then you can choose the color of your choice, but I'm choosing gold because these are for my mom and she wanted uh, gold hoop earrings. And so I'm using this gold acrylic paint, my brush, this brush is for eyeshadow. I use it all the time and I love it, but I'm going to be uh, covering this, giving this two coats. And yeah, guys, this is what they look like. I really like them. I tried them on because, well, to show you guys, these are for my mom again, but they're pretty lightweight. I couldn't feel them while I was wearing them. I'm usually not a hoop person because I always feel them like in my ears, like too heavy or just too big. But I really like these ones. They're really easy to make. They look really cute. I think the size is perfect. I have other like DIYs where I show you, but I really like these ones. Hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more easy earrings that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of these ones and share them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!